totally excited about this video. It is my top three healthy desserts. I am so stoked. I had so much fun filming it and eating these delicious, delicious desserts. You guys are going to love the recipes. The video is a bit fast paced, so if you want full in if you want full instructions, they will be in the down bar below as long as all of the measurements and stuff if you don't catch it in the actual video. Because like I said, it's a bit fast paced, but I just wanted to try something new. The first recipe are my probably my favorite of all. They are the peanut butter oatmeal cookies. These are amazing. I literally have them for breakfast because they're not even cookies. Like they're not even bad at all. The only thing that's bad is like chocolate chips, but I made sure to get like the organic semi-sweet chocolate chips so they weren't, they were, you know, a little bit better quality than just like Nestle or something like that. Alrighty, let's just get into this recipe and I'm so excited to show you guys. The first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 350 and the ingredients you're going to need are bananas, peanut butter, applesauce, cinnamon, salt, vanilla, rolled oats, pecans, chocolate chips, and coconut. Grabbing your favorite mixing bowl and mixing all of the ingredients together. Like I said, all the measurements are going to be in the down bar below, so make sure to check that out. I used an electric mixer here just to make sure all the ingredients were incorporated correctly. It is time to put them on the cookie sheet. I love doing this part, it's so fun. It just reminds me of being a kid and making chocolate chip cookies at home, except these are a bit healthier. Putting them in the oven for about 15 to 17 minutes, making sure you check them ever so often to make sure they did not burn at the bottom. After you pull them out of the oven, they are ready to enjoy and do not worry if you're not a fan of applesauce or oats or anything, you do not taste it. The only thing you taste a bit are the bananas, but trust me, they're divine. The next recipe is for you coconut lovers and chocolate lovers. Now if you don't like coconut, I apologize, but coconut is one of my favorite favorite things to eat, especially in baked goods. It is coconut chocolate fudge. They are a bomb diggity. They just melt in your mouth like nothing before. I was never that into fudge before making this recipe. I love fudge, like the, you know, traditional fudge during the holidays and stuff, but after having this, uh-uh, I'm not even gonna go back. This is just so good. So let's jump into the recipe. The ingredients you're gonna need are raw cacao, coconut milk, honey, Melted coconut oil. Make sure this is melted. It's not the same if it's not. And lastly, vanilla. Now it's time to mix everything together. This is probably one of the easiest recipes I've ever done. It literally takes like five minutes and there's no baking time, nothing. It's delicious. ingredients you're going to want to grab a loaf pan and I lined it with some foil you can use non-stick um, parchment paper or whatever you would like but I used foil here and just pouring that delicious concoction together Put it, putting it in the fridge for at least I would say like three hours I actually put it in overnight it came out divine so I would recommend overnight just so it sets all nice and delicious Look at those babies, how delicious and just melting in your mouth do they look? Oh, they're just amazing. You guys have to try and make them. Alrighty, the next recipe are for you fruit lovers. I did, I did want to be fair, I didn't want to do only chocolate and that type of thing, so I am incorporating a delicious fruit recipe. It is honey roasted or honey glazed pears with 
walnuts on top. Yeah, just take that in for a second. I love pears no matter what, but then when you add honey on it and it just gets caramelized in honey, and then you add caramelized walnuts on there, oh, let's jump right in. I cannot wait to show you guys. The ingredients you're gonna need are cinnamon, honey, and walnuts. And of course, the two pears. Here I am just cutting the pears in half and pitting them. I'm kind of putting or making a place to put the walnuts and a bit of the honey. Grabbing a cookie sheet and placing your two pears on there and I'm just sprinkling a dash of cinnamon. I'm actually using a little bit more than a dash because cinnamon to me is just so good, especially with this uh, mixture that I'm using. Next, I'm adding the walnuts. You can be as generous or not as generous as you want with this. And also, if you don't like walnuts, you can use any other type of nut. The last step is adding your raw honey. I think the next time I make it, I would put a little bit more honey just because it makes it so delicious and crispy after it bakes. Put it in the oven and bake for 30 minutes. That is all you have to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved filming it for you guys and I cannot wait to film more. My favorite juices and smoothie recipes for you guys. I am just so excited and stoked. I hope you like my little food series type of thing. If you guys make these recipes, tweet them to me, tag me on Instagram, anything. All my links are in the description below, as well as the um, directions and everything of that sort. So don't forget to check that out. If you have any other requests on what you would like me to do, leave it in the comments below and I will try to get to them. Love you guys and hope you have a great day. Bye!